A Mumbai to Goa cruise was raided where many prominent and wealthy individuals were arrested in the NCB drug raid. In all, 19 individuals were arrested, including Shah Rukh Khan's son, Aryan Khan, and a Nigerian drug peddler. Shah Rukh Khan's driver was also summoned for questioning. Two shocking details have emerged in the matter. According to a news article published in India today, Aryan Khan has confessed to smoking charas. Which was given to him by Arbaz Merchant who had hidden 6 grams of the contraband inside his shoe. This is why the court has refused Aryan's bail for the third time. As the NCB has said that Aryan needs to be questioned about the drug peddlers who gave them the drugs. To track the international drug cartel that may be involved in the matter. Secondly, NCB officer Samir Vankhade, who investigated the drug matter in Sushant Singh Rajput's death, is also investigating Aryan Khan's case. Vankhati has filed a complaint with the Maharashtra police saying he does not care if Aryan is a celebrity kid. It is his duty to investigate. But some people are following his every move and he feels threatened. He gave an example where he regularly goes to a cemetery where his mother is buried. He found that two persons claiming to be police officers accessed CCTV footage from the cemetery. To check Vankhade's movements. Vankhade along with Mutha Jain, who is also investigating the matter along with him, visited the Maharashtra police chief and said that they do not feel safe while doing their duty of investigating Shah Rukh's son as someone is following them. So now the question is who is following Samir Vankade? Is it people employed by SRK? Or is it some political party? Maharashtra government claims the NCB has initiated a witch hunt against the King Khan by targeting his son. Seeking glory for the agency, there are many such allegations and the story isn't clear yet. For further updates, please keep watching ISH News.